network. Um, we got a, uh, a noob question from uh, Smoothie Sabuti. Uh, that's a great uh, username on YouTube watching. Um, what's the difference between default USDC and hash port USDC on saucer swap? Great question. So a few quick clarifications and I'll expand on something here. So um, USDC, right, is from Circle, right? Circle is, I'll, I'll just pull up their website here just for any, any, um, other other noobs and again it's like this isn't a noob question a lot of this stuff even goes over my head sometimes um so don't 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 feel like you're a beginner or anything like that we're all begin if we're if again if we all say we're early we're, we're all beginners um so circle is a company that issues all sorts of digital you know digital assets usdc um and so usdc is a you know us dollar backed stable coin that's very important and um the distinction between like, you know, vanilla USDC and HUSDC is taking a bit of a step back. So the, the, the HUSDC doesn't stand for hash port. It stands for kind of like Hedera. Um, and basically when you see HUSDC on saucer swap, what you're seeing is the allocation that circle has taken and minted directly on Hedera. I think they've minted 200 million or whatever it is um, of USDC on Hedera Hashgraph. And so that is USDC that's native to Hedera. That means that it's an HTS token that shares all the same properties as, again, like HBAR, Sauce, like whatever you want to call it. So that's the difference. But then on SaucerSwap, you might also see another USDC, a wrapped USDC. And that's weird because what that entails is the native USDC on on the Ethereum being ported over to Hedera and wrapped on Hedera. So that's already where the fragmentation comes in, where you have uh, multiple different USDCs on Hedera. You've got kind of the 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 kind of um, non-Hedera native USDC that's arrived through Hashport into Hedera, but then you also have the native USDC on Hedera that's minted here that you know could be bridged over the other way. So you do have these fragmented um, approaches to USDC. And furthermore, on other networks, you might have, you know, Algorand USDC or Solana USDC or wherever it might be. And that's uh, that's a key thing that that Circle has been um, working to to remedy through a program. I believe it's called CCIP. Yeah, the cross chain transfer protocol. And so what this is, is exactly kind of the issue we're talking about which is circle went well what if we didn't have a bunch of different usdc coins minted across different networks that was all fragmented what if it was something that was um natively interoperable right what if we had one single usdc that could kind of float between all the different networks and that i think is a big thing that we're working towards and there's many folks in hedera that are advocates for this approach and kind of saying like Let's not focus on HUSDC. Let's not focus on the USDC that's minted natively on Hedera. Let's focus on getting Hedera involved in this CCTP um, uh, protocol, right? That's really what we're focused on because that's that kind of layer up. And so it's it's it kind of speaks to a theme that we see in crypto a lot, which is fragmentation. Uh, Wallet Connect is is another where we've got all these different SDKs from different wallets. Um, and all these different uh, ways to do things. And so it's difficult for dApps to integrate all the wallets. So if you can take that and use a shared st uh, standard like Wallet Connect, then it becomes a lot easier and, and anyone can integrate anywhere and it's interoperable. So this is kind of the same methodology of like, we got all these random USDCs everywhere. Circle goes, well, hold on a minute. What if we came up with a new interoperable USDC that was kind of in one place? So that uh, if that answers your question, that's kind of like why there's so many different ones. Um, that's why you see kind of two USDCs on Saucer Swap. Re they're the same thing; they're just packaged differently, and they're a little bit fragmented. But it is what it is. Um, and I think that the short-term solution is just let's get more liquidity, more stablecoin liquidity on Hedera ASAP, whatever that looks like. But the the long-term solution is that I think a lot of other networks are working towards is, well, what can we do to consolidate this stuff, get rid of this fragmentation, um, and just have more of a seamless uh, approach. 